Welcome to episode two of my writing tips mini series. This uh, episode is going to cover beverages in the Middle Ages. So today I'm going to discuss eight beverages that were commonly consumed during the Middle Ages and hopefully this will help you with writing your fantasy works. The first of them is ale and this was by far the most prominent especially during the Middle Ages. Ale uh, for every town was brewed by someone called the Brewster or the Ale Wife, and it was their job to produce enough ale for the entire village. Now, ale consists of three components. The first is a grain, um, which was called the malt, some type of grain, uh, water, and then yeast. Now, the grain that was used was typically barley, but may have also been wheat or oat. Uh, the use of hops in ale was later perfected in the 13th century, and this gave rise to beer, which was the most prominent beverage after this time. The most commonly consumed beverage throughout the Middle Ages is referred to as small beer, table beer, or mild beer, and was drank by everyone of every class, including children, and was most commonly kept in oak casks. The third beverage is wine, and people tend to over-romanticize this, and we tend to kind of abuse it, but it's important to note that wine would have been only available in the southern regions of Europe and the Mediterranean zones, where grapes can be grown uh, fairly easily. In the north, it would have been more expensive. However, interestingly, Catholics needing to have wine in order to complete communion became some of the largest producers, such as the Benedictine monks, of wine throughout the entire Middle Ages. Mead is a type of wine that's made from honey and water, not from grapes, and sometimes has yeast yet added in. Metheglin, which also would have been another um, beverage, is mead with certain spices that are added in and is considered to be medicinal. Now, there's another big misconception about the Middle Ages, and that is that no one ever drank water. And that's simply just not true. There, we have enough evidence now to know that that's uh, false. People in the Middle Ages knew that city water that was polluted with waste uh, uh, human waste and animal waste that was polluted with, uh, that they used to wash their clothes, was not safe to drink. Uh, they also knew that stagnant water, you know, like in swamps and marshes, was also not safe to consume. They knew that water was supposed to be odorless, tasteless, and clear, and if it wasn't, they would risk drinking it. But in drinking water, they would sometimes also boil it, and add things to flavor it, such as rose, coriander, lemon, apple, or barley. Now that might start to sound a little bit like tea to you, but there's a caution. While the use of tea in China and Indonesia goes back to ancient times, actual, as far as the Middle Ages go, tea did not reach Britain until the 1600s, and its consumption didn't become popular until the 1700s. At the time, the United States uh, went through a little rebellious act known as the Boston Tea Party, which eventually influenced the American switch from tea to coffee, but that is far past the Middle Ages. Lastly, milk. And milk is important because it comes not only just from cows, but also from goats and from other animals. And the milk may have been consumed primarily by children or the elderly or the infirm, but we don't know this. We do know that people did consume milk from time to time. And more importantly, milk was used to create butter and cheese. Now, how did they consume these beverages? <clears throat> if you had a social gathering or a party of some type, festival, uh, the beverage might be served from a jug or flagon, and it might be consumed by the individual through a beer stein, a chalice, a tankard, a goblet, perhaps a flask of some sort, or even from a wine glass. Now, production of glass was um, started at least as far back as the Roman Empire, so glass was available during the Middle Ages. However, glass was not the most commonly used material. Other materials used to make drinking utensils included wood, ceramic, pewter, silver, hollowed out gourds, horns, and leather. So again, just to review, ale, beer, wine, mead, aceglin, water, tea, and milk were all consumed during the Middle Ages. 
It just really depends on the region that you're particularly looking at and the time frame. Hopefully this helps you guys with your writing. Remember, in the end, it is your fantasy world, so write whatever you want to. And as always, keep writing.